Okay, today I wanted to show you guys versioning inside of Fusion 360. So here I have this new project that I'm working on. It is a D20. So it's a Dungeons and Dragons dice uh, with 20 different uh, sides and they all have numbers and things and pretty much it's broken up into two pieces and it's been modified and, and merged and combined uh, to the point where all the standoffs, all the extrudes are all uh, sort of dissolved. So it's ready to export and print. Um, but let's say I wanted to modify uh, the numbers, right? Let's say I wanted to change the typeface uh, to make it more bold or have a different type of font. Um, so I do have all the sketches still here. And if I wanted to come in here and modify sketch two, I right click on it, I can't seem to edit the face. So it's pretty much, um, you're not able to edit the face here because it's, uh, you've, You've sort of, I've sort of gone too far and merged too many things, right? So this is where versioning comes, uh, becomes extremely handy, right? So if I come over here to the activity tab or the activity window and I go to the version tab, you can see all the versions that I've saved in the project while making it. This is really cool. It reminds me a lot of GitHub because you have your version and you have a description a commit, right, of what uh, what we did here. So if I look at version 12, I added some connector magnets. Or for version 11, I adjusted the tolerances on those little nubs. So that's really cool. So if I wanted to come in here and modify um, a version before uh, I made the, the text edits, I can come down here to version 1, and it saves all the way to version 1. This is really cool because usually in 123D, I would have to save out a separate version called pieces or parts where it doesn't have everything merged yet. And what's cool about this is I don't have to worry about uh, managing multiple files. Everything's just sort of there for me. So what I'll do is I'll click on the open icon here. And what it'll do is it'll open up in a different document. That way it won't conflict with the history of the original project. And I can sort of save out a separate version of it. So here I am in the version 1. And you can see um, this is before I have modified any of the standoffs, so everything is still editable here. So I have all my standoffs and all my components right there. Um, and then of course I have my sketches with all the numbers and stuff. So let's say I wanted to change uh, number six here. I can click on it, click uh, edit sketch, and then I can double click on it. And then I can modify the, uh, the text here, make it bold or change up the, um, the font face. So if I really wanted to make a change, and I can't in my in my uh, my last my latest version. I can step back into version one or whatever version it is and modify it that way. So that's a really powerful way uh, uh, to manage your files that way. I really like that. And I just wanted to share with you guys um, sort of how it's useful for me. It's already helping me out a lot. So um, if you're looking for a CAD a piece of CAD software that has versioning and they're using every day, definitely check out Fusion 360. There's like a free 30-day trial, I think, going on right now, so you can check that out. And there's also discounts and stuff for education and uh, small maker companies, so be sure to check that out. Um, that's pretty much it. If you guys have any other stuff that you'd like me to cover or take a look at, let me know in the comments below, and I'll take a look at those. But until then, I'll see you guys next time.